Free inside a new person they want it. Rank seven. <laughs> Two videos going at once that's always fantastic today we got to start working on getting the gym cleaned out because uh it's starting to get nice out I, I really don't even need this flannel on the problem with the gym is it is literally filled with boxes of random different things truck job stuff from last year just a big pile of dirt bike parts and that's not even all of them remnants of the gym on the workbench you'll find an array of different tools from funnels to wire cutters and even adhesive remover Long story short, we got to start getting at this and uh, well, let's start with getting these big. Oh, yeah No, let's start with this one the important one Ah, yes We're spending hundreds more on exhaust at the end of the season But this is gonna be a good night. I got a good feeling about this one So the snow really is trash. I mean if this there's no snow here in most places I'm gonna walk out to the field and see uh, there's enough to where we can get some sound clips as well But I think we're gonna do a lot of our basis on just the stand up by the garage in all reality We should be able to get at least a few clips out here There's definitely enough to where we can get some pulls We really only just need a couple pulls for a sound comparison compare idle We'll compare full rpm and then we'll compare like kind of putting it on its side a little bit. Here's our jump This is what's left of that I was thinking maybe I'd be able to just spruce it up a little bit today and still be able to hit it, but yeah, no way. So for the couple of you out there that said it's not the end of the winter yet, well, it's technically not, not till March 20th, but it's the end of winter here. All right, so let's get the sled pulled over here. We'll set it up on the stand, get those sound clips, and then we will also bring it out to the field, like I said. Should be a pretty good basis for our stand we got a little bit of a idle and we also got uh some ripping on it she was a little bit cold when i started ripping so it sounded a little bit weird but those last ones were some good warm rips so we'll do probably two pulls out in the field i really don't want to put it through its paces a day it's 40 something degrees out it's about to be 54 degrees here in a couple days so those clips you just got there are of the mbrp race can you might be thinking at this point why would he buy a race can to end the season You're not even gonna get to ride it when i bought the mbrp can originally it was an experiment to see if what I had on there was a race can. Like I said, it was an experiment. I just wanted to figure some things out. And uh, there's two companies that always popped up when I was looking at cans for this model, MBRP and Jaws Performance. When I originally looked for a Jaws can, I was deterred because, well, you have to pay Canadian money. So when I did order a can, I was actually more interested in the Jaws cans because A, there wasn't a lot of videos on YouTube about them, especially on this model. I couldn't find one on this model. But when you go to order them, they are coming from Canada. And not only that, you have to pay Canadian money. And obviously, or you have to go through a source that's going to change your money over to Canadian money coming into the U.S. Then I had never ordered anything from Canada. So it kind of comes into play. How long is it going to take to get here? Am I, am I even going to get it by the end of the winter? And although it didn't take too long to get out of Canada, FedEx had the thing going all over. And they did get it here. It was a couple days late. So why did I order the Jaws can? Well, Jaws is a company that I can get behind. You know how I always wear the Red Bull gear and stuff like that? I'm not a sponsored person. Like, well, obviously I'm not. I have 3,000 subscribers. I'm nothing special on anything. But I like to find companies that I can believe in and I can support on my own. Jaws is one of those companies. They make everything by order from what I've gathered. Everything is down to spec. They are some of the gnarliest sounding cans. I mean, what are we even talking about? Let's get this MBRP can off. Let's get the Jaws can on and let's see. Is there really a difference? We went with the black finish instead of the chrome finish. It actually saved me money. This was cheaper than the MBRP can by the time it got here. And that was with $50 shipping too, may I add. Wow, this is a lot larger than I anticipated. Check it out. I hope it fits. It looks like it's, it's so much larger. It's just uh, kind of surprising. A little light on the paint on this side. Definitely got a little bit of running on there too. This is an exhaust can though. It's not about what it looks like. It's about what it sounds like. Man, I am kind of shocked by how big that is compared to how 
Maybe it's not that much bigger. I don't know. Okay, so the odd dimensions that I was noticing are certainly odd. Uh, it's not going to fit in this snowmobile. It will run with this engine, but it's not meant for this for this body style, of course, since this is an engine swap. We got away with it with the MBRP cam because it's just so much smaller. The dimensions of it are just certainly different. This one will fit, but we got to move this portion here of this guard. So... <laughs> So I guess that brings me to the other point that I had when I ordered the Jaws can is I really couldn't find one that I was completely, you know, this is going to fit. One of the subscribers did comment and said, well, you know, this one is probably the one you need. And I did some research and yeah, that was the one I was going to need. Definitely the closest one to what I would need anyways. Like I said, it will work. It just has to come that way more. I mean, down there, you can see that it's just not going to match up with the hole either, unless it comes that way about another inch and a half, two inches. Yeah, right now on the bottom, it's off about two inches and up here, it's off about two inches as well maybe closer to two and a half up here so the only way you're going to make up that two inches is with the removal of this and that's going to free up about all, well, all the play we need by far we'll have to uh, definitely put some heat tape lower on this though okay so i hacksawed through the brace it did leave this side kind of weak however we're probably not going to mount too much to that everything lines up really well after moving that. i just bent it over here to the side so then if at some point in time maybe i wanted to salvage this brace i could bend it back weld it not a big deal this thing matches up pretty dang good after that modification even better than the mbrp can the mbrp can my one little complaint was it was kind of Kind of tilted. I don't know if it was the best for airflow. Also on the bottom, it matches right up. I'm going to spring it up and uh, we should be able to test it. Well, that's going to have to be good enough for mounting. I broke one of my longer springs. It's every bit as good as the MBRP one for, for mounting. That really only leaves one thing to do. Let's hear it. Like with the MBRP can we have a slight difference this one screaming a little bit louder and then we'll sum it up with uh, kind of going over what we think of everything right off the bat oh yeah I should add in got a couple jaws stickers and a koozie well I can definitely smell the new paint on that can <laughs> Well, the Pro X just got louder. You could hear it kind of vibrating your eardrums through the helmet, and the MBRP can doesn't do that. Oh yeah, and just to fill you guys in, that original can that came on the sled, it was an MBRP can. It's one of their trail cans that they have, which makes a lot of sense because that tone was very similar. At idle, you could tell a little bit of difference, but you really didn't notice all of the difference until you got it up in this hop end and really started ripping on it. Here, you can notice there's more pop at the idle. Kind of that rumble like we were talking in the MBRP one. But once you start getting on it, you I mean, you could tell just when it was on the stand. It put a smile on my face right away. Jaws performance, guys. Yes, you do have to order from Canada, but I highly suggest it. Again, it seems like a lot of people are deterred from ordering from them in the United States. You don't see a lot of YouTube videos with the Jaws cans. You are seeing more and more, which is good. So just kind of wanted to raise awareness that it is worth it. So I guess what it really comes down to is we'll see next season how it holds up. Make sure we don't blow any engines. There's certainly a difference in dimension in the pipes. These two MBRP cans are very similar. However, 
they're both MBRP cans, so I don't really know what to think on that, guys. Another MBRP can. We'll just set that here for now. The MBRP graveyard. I gotta get out here, I gotta clean this up. We gotta get some of these big boxes to where they need to be. Unfortunately, guys, this is very likely the last snowmobiling oriented video that we're gonna have this season until next winter. That's just what it's looking like. Just to get to the field, I had to drive through dirt each time, no matter which way I went around. I was going through dirt and mud and I'm just, I don't play that game. I don't wanna ride through crap. It's not fun to me, it's just not. Also, that's when the rocks and the culverts and everything are at, are at the worst. And that's when you really end up screwing yourself over. If you guys did notice, there is something that is usually where it always is and it's just not there. Pay attention for the next video. We're kind of working on it at the same time as this video. So it'll be many days all compiled into the same video. It's kind of all going in sequence here with what we're doing today. Again, the Jaws can, it's honestly, considering the MBRP can was more than the Jaws can with $50 shipping, because that's the perk here, guys. If you're in the US and you're gonna transfer your money over to Canadian, although it looks like it's gonna be $339, it really came out to like, 260 something so the rate of exchange really works in our favor as well here with the uh, jaws pipes another perk maybe think about ordering one yourself with that said i'm gonna get everything cleaned up here get back into the dogs i appreciate everybody supporting the channel if you do enjoy the content guys i'm gonna ask you please subscribe to the channel this is a tiny channel any subscription helps greatly oh yeah i almost forgot when you support a company you gotta support them where are we gonna put these guys probably go back here with them i gotta clean that up though right there with a single one looks real nice too <laughs> With that said, guys, as always, stay happy, stay positive, and keep her tuned.